can see there they are there's a few of them right there bring in a bale of the uh, second cutting here and that's what baits them in like yesterday I made sure to give them some lower quality hay make them a little bit hungry Here I got a crowding tub, got an alleyway, Powder River alleyway. We got two holdouts. Right over there. Yeah, she's in the alleyway, that other one's way over there. Actually, I chased her in and I thought she was going to run right back out past me because she she had a long attention span she didn't really want to take her eyes off me every time she turned around she uh, I would sneak up on her but boy she she had a good attention span this one did okay everybody's in Pull these pins, start thinning them out. Okay, a few more cows to get out of here and be all set. Come on, come on girls, come on. One babysitter in here for the night and I got a couple big bull calves to castrate tomorrow. I'm gonna band them with a calicrate bander. We'll leave them here overnight. I'm gonna put some water in here. This is that area I put the sand on um, over in this area. So kind of level it out, but boy, I, I could have put 10 times more sand. So I don't know, a couple of these are gotta be well over, you know, a couple of them gotta be over 600 pounds, some big, so, um, yeah, I got a buddy. I always have to wait till I got help. So I got a buddy that will come tomorrow morning and help me. So being I did all this work, got him rounded up, I'm going to keep him in. And um, then what I'll do is I will give them, after banding, uh, maybe another week with their mamas. And then uh, go ahead, round them up, and separate them, throw them with the rest of the calves the bed down for the night and these cows get to go right now this grazing slope is fenced off but they've got all that over there nice dry high slope to bed down on they'll be over there at night they also got a, a good stretch in there about five acres of grass and some ridge to lay on so they're not they're not in this mud all the time in the winter i'll bale graze them roll hay down those slopes or down this slope. The most important final things I need to do 
when I'm doing this is making sure everything is pinned and gated up. I've many times left a gate open or unpinned, like for example over there where I was letting the mama cows out. Then you come back, you see that gate open, and everything's out. There's a lot of work rounding them up. You just never know how to do it. Okay, I'm using the uh, Calicrate Mander. And I bought this a few years ago so I could castrate myself. We used to just cut them. I started out banding when they were day old. And it works good if you can catch the calves, but if you can't catch them, it didn't work so good. And it actually kind of didn't work good after the last year I tried it. I, you know, with the small bands is I had a bunch of misses because the babies were running around and struggling with me. And ideally you're supposed to wait till they're a few days old. But in my environment, calving in June out on grazing pasture, you can't really, you can't catch them after day one. And it got to be where the cows were wise to me. You know, if they dropped a calf and you drove into the pasture, they went and got that calf wherever it was, bedded down and got it up and moving. And and I had a lot of, the last year I did, I had a lot of, a few misses, you know, that we had to cut later on. And that almost ended up being a surgical procedure, having a, you know, if you got a testy retained way up in there. So I just banned them now. These, I mean, could have banded them, you know, a couple months earlier. I think what I'm going to do is calve all at this one location this this spring and maybe ban the calves after they're a few weeks old before I take them to other farms for grazing. Um, using the one-piece uh, Z-Tag. So I went to these. I don't know. People say they retain better. They, they might. They do, probably. Um, just kind of a one-piece system. I uh, only got two bulls to ban this morning and then uh, four heifers deer tag and I'm done done tagging for right now and I'm gonna after that get the get the head gate shoot out of the way and then wait I don't know a few days and get the trailer backed up to the uh, alleyway and then go ahead and um, you know go ahead at that point and load them up and get them to the other side of this farm where their their cohorts are uh, as far as numbering so uh i used to do a letter number that coordinated to the year uh that the you know a lot of cattlemen do this is a one for 2021 that's the year they were calved i'm going to that route and then if I know which mother it is, I'll have up here on the shoulder of the tag what mother they're from.